You're not gonna stay here forever, are you? Let's see where you go. Where do you go? Where will you go? <gasps> do you see birds? Go find birds. <laughs> well, my class, it's the last day of school. Um, I didn't exactly know what to say in this video because it's been one crazy year. We started the year with this t-shirt. If you can't read it backwards, it says Camden Station, construction is complete. And I sat you all down that first day and we were sitting on the black, no, we didn't even have a carpet that day. We had tile. And we sat on the tile and Alec rose his hand and he said, you know your shirt's false advertising. And that started a conversation that lasted all year. We talked about everything from math to science to books that we enjoyed. We had disagreements. We had um, some really true connections. And it's been truly amazing to see the growth in each and every one of you this year. I am incredibly amazed to see that... Um, to see that growth and to see um, how many of you took to heart a lot of the things that was, that you all learned in the classroom. Quite a few of you taught each other so many things that didn't come from me. I just facilitated the learning. You guys let it happen. I have to say thank you for giving me the opportunity to be at the front of the classroom when need be and um, help you guys learn and help you guys grow through your struggles. Quite a few of you struggled through writing or math or um, a lot of you actually did pretty well in science. Those, I'm, I don't really think any of you all struggled in science, so kudos to you all. Um, but it's been, it's been one crazy year. I think that it's a lot can be said in terms of the accomplishment for a walkathon um, and the battle of the books win. I think that you all are each competitive in your own right, and that is very exciting to see. And I think that one of my favorite memories is that moment when our team won the battle of the books because every single one of you was excited about that. It wasn't even just the team being excited you all were standing and cheering i wish i had that video to insert here but i don't it's on miss allen's phone um but that oh my gosh i don't know if any of you saw but i was staring up at that moment not that it takes much for me to cry <laughs> and you all know that um i have enjoyed so much from this year um, it was really, really difficult for me on March 12th when we had to send you all home with all of your materials, not knowing when we would see you again. I remember um, speaking to Jamie's mom and telling her that if I had known on March 12th, I feel like I would have treated that day differently, but none of us knew. None of us knew what we were in for, and... Um, I remember each of you looking at me that day and I could sense quite a few of you were scared. Some of you all were curious. Others, I think, were just tired from the day. But um, you guys took the online learning really well and you guys, a lot of you all started asking more questions, which was fantastic. And um, this part's to the parents. Thank you for a wonderful year. Thank you for um, being understanding and um, supporting your students through everything, including NTI, especially NTI. Um, it's been an amazing year. I'm not very well spoken right now. I've said amazing like 13 times. <laughs> In any case, guys, I hope that each of you have a wonderful summer. You guys are going to enter as fifth graders with a new teacher and you're going to have to learn that each teacher is different and each classroom is different and each each of you grow every single year whether you see it or not think about how small you were when you were in kindergarten and how tall you are now 
It's crazy. Oh my gosh. And then the year after that, you're in middle school. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoy your summer. I cannot wait to see you all in the fall. And hopefully give you guys a hug, if that's allowed. <laughs> Have a good summer. Bye, guys. Love you.